Static from fucking Team Fortress. <laughs> and also like Christopher Lloyd actually does. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal I may not be a doctor, but I can still give you a cold fucking oscopy. <laughs> Forget questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. Explain. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. Jennifer's it's hot. <laughs> it's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. And nothing so new you from the Biff's uh, really side about of things. Me? He's that always you? kind of been just... Yes. You went to all that this trouble opish. just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. yes! A cry for help, as it were. Yes! No! Wait. Tell me, Mark. Wait, what? <laughs> is your mother on the sauce again? Being psychoanalyzed. Uh, yes. Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Mom okay, didn't even drink all that way, much. But that's where your time machine comes in. She goes for maybe in. half a bottle time of Jack machine? at the most. Time machine. Yeah. Doc, time listen machine. to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? <laughs> no, why? <laughs> why the fuck would I do that? <laughs> oh, just for the hell of it, I guess. Look, <laughs> dog's like, why the DeLorean fuck would I do that? I don't That's know. insane. It was for some reason. Fascinating. Yes, yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You're not, not the real Doc you. Brown. And this You're not my cause. real dad. <laughs> Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. Is? Hell yeah it is. Yes, and that's a great... No! I, I mean, yes. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. Mom started so drinking more and she became a lot not, happier. Because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Michael Corleone. I'm Michael Corleone. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. This is the alternate reality. Yeah. Well, oh, that's an accident. No, this is the alternate that's reality. Actually, My what? reality is the real reality. Calm Reality's down, not Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand you, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. I want to get in your head and see what makes you tick. Ah, uh, take your time. Look around the room. Those are quite some sounds. Perhaps something here will stimulate your ma your memory. Stimulate your dick. Um. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Of course. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? He's I just sang looking at you like a crazy person. Courthouse. I do, you're acting like I, a crazy I do recall person something of a sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. Well, wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Einstein is uh, a time traveler. An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Uh... Something about that clock looks familiar. You know what I realized? What? It's it's clockwork with an orange background. A <laughs> shred in front of Doc Brown. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Check this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor. Your greatest invention. That can't be my notebook. 
The handwriting is far too sloppy. That's... Uh, really? Yeah. Really? His handwriting changed. Look, You're Doc, a fucking I asshat. Mean, no, no. It's Hold got yourself. your name Not printed only. on the fucking the cover. points of reflection. I wish to observe your thought Like, process. not even printed on the cover. Like, indented on the fucking cover. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my life, of course. After Donald that's Trump, a of course. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? I... Uh... <laughs> Bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Proceed. Bizarre fantasy life. It's like those people it's that all the play I am I saw my dad's <laughs> monitors. I think. The whole town is under surveillance. Wow, that is cool. It is really. The sound. It it, yeah, it's kind of lulling. No, you're hypnotizing your sister. Uh, right. Wait, what was I doing? The Punisher comes in the room <laughs> with a guy in his arms and he's like, I need hey, to use your clockwork. Your fish tank. <laughs> yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? <laughs> Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. Go look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitani. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland, my scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his... I death. see. That's not what I see. What do you see? I'm in the background. I can see. Okay, he's just fucking looking at you. Okay, uh, that was weird. <laughs> the dog's just staring at you dramatically. <laughs> I'm sorry, citizen. Alt citizen. Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. The I'm the one who days. rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket-powered drill. Also, you the are Carl Sagan. Drill. Never worked. Failed a misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. It's, a, it's still a rocket drill. <laughs> are you? You're not even confused. I know about this thing. So. Yeah. I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. <laughs> it's a guy That's praising the sun. Mind. Half full. <laughs> <laughs> like you'd be so grossly incandescent. Yes. I'm gonna explore this way. No. Okay. Whoa! It's a guy doing the make contact thing from Dark Souls. <laughs> what else do I have? Okay. Uh. I'll beat him with the power of rock and roll. Rock and roll. That's no way to treat such a fine guitar. Okay, no rock and roll. <laughs> um, I'm gonna really shove it up Doug's ass. <laughs> oh yeah. See this picture? This picture In from... the other timeline, I've got a girlfriend who loves me. Interesting. Subject's fantasy. In this, in this world, he has a girlfriend that loves him, and she's oh, hotter. Great. The timeline's catching up with me. That's a kind of pathetic picture, actually. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Look at this picture of me being a fucking loser at prom. <laughs> There's a photo of my dad being cool. See, this is my father back when he was a teenager. With your time machine, I went back to 1955 and helped him stand up to Biff. Interesting. Of course, Mr. Tannen spent most of 1955 in our juvenile rehabilitation facility, learning to control his anger. He did. And being no violently subjected so to video lame. films. <laughs> if you just let me talk, I'm sure I can convince you. Fine, fine. But show, don't tell. 
Uh, clock. Something about that clock looks familiar. Wait, you smoke? Yeah, Wait. of course Doc smokes. But smoke alcohol's food. illegal. Yeah, but it doesn't mean smoking's illegal. Come on. Move on, Mr. McFly. Marty in the back. Yeah, Marty and Doc. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. It is me, and you. But how? Michael? Yeah, Michael. It's impossible. No, it's science. Your it's science. science. In this other <laughs> world, the one you say you come from, am I... Am I happy there? Oh, very. Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. You drink a oh, bunch, too. Not, not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy you in the time universe. Drink. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. My mom undercover drank. You really believe and citizens leave Biff looks like he's gonna peace. fucking have an Nobody aneurysm worries. at any Nobody second. Nobody complains. <laughs> Only because they were afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will ya? You and Hedna have got him all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, sonny. <laughs> you refer to her as Mrs. Brown. Your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment years. devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, man, how dare you do yeah, that? Yeah, I do. Who are I, you, I, man? Just you just came in here and up. just started afraid? throwing around your wild well, allegations of time afraid travel. Of the consequences of their actions, Showed Doc. me yourself you and me in like the it's picture. A state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment... The whole Back to the Future the series is a story told course. by a madman. Yeah. Robert Zemeckis. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine. But I'll be back. With proof. What's Shit. he gonna do to come back? <laughs> Start shooting fucking people in the middle of the street to go back. You acquire a private audience with uh, with Citizen Brown. But you must you must construct additional pilot. Doc wants yes. proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. <laughs> One smoking gun coming up. He's gonna start Pop shooting people the in the middle of the street. Son, I think it's done rewinding. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? Broke Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah, ah. <laughs> ah it. Can you tell ah. me? This can't be happening. This sounds in this game. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. The sounds these characters make. Tape case. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers... They're all, all the gone! It was just <laughs> empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. They're before gone whoever now. Whoever was whacked you in the head and took them. You've been watching too much Miami Vice, son. What evidence? Oh my god, Miami Vice still attacked. exists in this universe. Yeah, lump on it's only Hill Valley that's thing. fucked. And, and? Is it still the number one show on television? Was it ever? Dad, that's sure. not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Why? Oh, wait, that's don't touch it. It's thing. evidence. Of what? Of you getting clocked in the goddamn head. Oh, game. why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sectorel citizen like me? Because you're a spy? Because you're literally Whoever made off with your tapes, everyone. I'm thinking. 
Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Kaiser Soze. Who stands to lose if those tapes get out? Everybody who's badmouthed Citizen Brown when they didn't know a camera was on them. But that's half the people in town. That's everyone. No, I'm guessing this was a lone agent. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Let's get out there All and the start shaking people down. Of you we can make them talk. Your wife and before you know it, the authorities will get involved and we'd both be in trouble. Now. No thanks. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? What? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six, six months. Six months. But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... Breaking the law, breaking the law. Uh, Just as much prevail. I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. When I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen yes, Brown? Yes, broke. It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Yes. Yeah. Harboring straight dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, Add that to it, motherfucker. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> Add that to your search history, faggot. <laughs> Read him and weep. The merits, yeah, but... the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Things Citizen are not Brown okay here. might have here. started with good intentions, but his hill valleys just made everybody miserable. Shh. You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> oh, wait, I, I got him. Oh, oh Dad, my god! Everything's right for you and mom and all of us. I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Trust me, please. Okay. But first, I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh no, 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 no! Dad, this scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing. I can't say. But leave me out of it. Dad, it I needs to be like done, trouble. motherfucker. It. It's not in my genes. But. Arthur? Do it for your father. Oh. My father? Yes. Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tan. But Dad stood Sorry, up to him. Right he had evidence of Kid's guilt <laughs> okay. and it's he risked fun. his life to deliver it to the authorities. <laughs> Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used Never to tell Never be him. afraid to do and the right And what are you doing? Thing. Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. <laughs> Gotta cover all bases. Help me figure out which monitor I'm on. Um, which one would it be? That doesn't look right. It's not wow, working. Wow, is it broken? Quick, change the channel. Hello. How do you tell which one it is? Oh. There, that looks like us. <laughs> that was so weird. The <laughs> tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Of course. There he is. Yes. But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program it is... It can't be him. him. He's been to... Kitten. Poop. Poop. Huh? I can't understand it. 
That's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would hey, never- wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's he's find out. Controlled. I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, pig, wait, stop the pig, picture. Please let me in. Can you zoom in anymore? X11. You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine! Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. <laughs> you just got here, though. It's and always Rob... about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. That's right. You two sort things said? out. I've got some business to attend to. I'm more together than Whoa. I've been in months, George. For your information, I haven't had a drink all You're such a happy couple. <laughs> She just shows up and they start bitching at each other. Okay, Biff, I'm gonna kick your ass. Biff, that's it. Biff! You're going Whoa, down. Settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. You beat up my dad. <laughs> we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little he bit He beat up my dad. <laughs> I'm sure we can work I have out. video evidence. Right, sure. He beat the fuck okay. out of my dad with a baseball bat. you need bat. any help, Mr. Tanner. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Let's. Why'd you beat up my dad? Beat up my dad, Biff. <laughs> he never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play timeline. dumb. I saw you on camera. I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think. Oh about my God! It's legitimate. Yeah. Fucker Gordon. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> See? <laughs> So he wants to beat the fuck out of me. Okay, that's great. If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. No idea. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover baloney to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? You gave baloney yeah. to a squirrel. She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then it's... your mom came by. Hmm. So the last thing you remember before my dad got beat up is Edna fiddling with your watch? Yeah, that does sound pretty bad, doesn't it? Biff, your watch. Does X11 is that mean a anything Rolex? to you? <laughs> X11? Is that a new band or something? X11. I don't go in for that new hippity hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? <laughs> Ten eleven, yep. Move. Cool. Oh, A eleven. Uh, so. Yeah, now we gotta bring it to X. Okay, we'll go faster if I go yeah. this way. There we go. Biff? <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> that's the sound to make. What's wrong with What's you? What's wrong with you? Swear with you! <laughs> you attack my dad. Did you attack my you, dad? You beat up my dad, Biff. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Biff, I'm gonna Why fucking you my beat dad? your ass too. <laughs> you must have been hypnotized. <laughs> He's you up talking to, to a hypnotized <laughs> Biff about beating up his dad yes. while hypnotized. Where's my dad's tape? Where's my dad's tape? <laughs> <laughs> Decycling bin? Decycling? Could you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Mm. Hey, Mr. Tin. What's How up? You doing? Uh, 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 Is that McFly kid bothering yeah. you? Uh, hey, you can't go in there. Uh, uh, Hulk smash! Yeah, the Oh, 
Oh! He <laughs> uh, stumps himself in it. Holy smokes! W what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling. No one's ever it. done that. Where ever. does it go? In that the history of my this pay game. Rate. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. No one's ever jumped inside the decycling bin before. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, here goes nothing. Woohoo! How did much you want to bet this in the Biff cave? Gosh, man, did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into oh, owning you the city. as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive headfirst into the decycling you. bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your oh, Lord. was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? McFly! Oh, no. McFly. Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Shut up, Dev. Geo! <laughs> Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Uh, no, Biff, listen. This isn't what you want. Stop. You want that girly oh, no. mag over there. Do <laughs> you notice the girly mag? Yeah. <laughs> it's a girly mag. It's a mag called Gurley. My solution to everything. Only I could tame this beast of rock. Okay, so rock and roll's not the answer. <laughs> he's got, he's in a fucking headlock oh, by Biff, Biff, and he's like, only I could tame this beast of rock. You never had much of a sense of humor. Uh, Heinz. Puppy. Einstein. Doggy. Huh? Tannin. Focus. Doggy. Because in this game, Biff really likes dogs. That's cool. That's oh, probably dear, why they're all wrong. You have been a naughty boy. Oh. Come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Ah. Okay, uh. <gasps> hey, look over there. It's beer. Beer? Beer? What's going Hell on? Oh, yeah, I want Biff? beer. Howard Tannen, obey your programming. Ah, ah. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus I program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. Yeah, beer. I uh, should have known you'd be trouble someday. Uh, Biff, aren't those your favorite cigars? Cubans? Where, Where are, are the Cubans? Tannin? I didn't go behind my namby pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Uh, oh. Pinball parts? Pinball parts? I made the Mashadi ball out of all pinball machine parts! <laughs> Born! Biff, look! That's Gally gonna Max. get his attention. Boobies! Bo Boobies! <laughs> Nothing like the power Cannon, of boobies. Listen to me. Uh, uh? Babes. Babes. Titties. Uh. I I mean bazongas. Booze. <laughs> Babes. Booze. <laughs> what the? I want to just grab the tits and just start furiously masturbating. Mommy. <laughs> Great, you gave Biff an aneurysm! <laughs> Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people. Never good. wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Some of them are just assholes. Maybe, but that doesn't like give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my broad. dad's tapes so I can- You mean fuck. those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie. So, what? While you were watching Zardoz. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible. 
as my husband's. No. Destructible. No. Edna! Doc? What? Emmett, what are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence! Okay. I was frozen I was today! <laughs> Actually, that didn't happen. The game did freeze for a bit. Wow, to my cool. surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles this is what you to fucking been doing? these illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, a flick oh, of a few please, switches. Emmett, you can press those buttons a couple times. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. This is it what this is all about? Unbreakable. Fucking grass? I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. You wait for me at home. Get in the shelter, Fine. you stupid bitch. <laughs> You know what? This is a happy game. Don't yeah, I you know. <laughs> I love the art style. Yeah. It tells you it has a nice art style. It's good. Doc! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Father, what have I done? Father, dear hands, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. He's proud of you. Are you proud of me now, Father? You happy now? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This Hill Valley may be a little messed yeah, up. Yeah, sure, you fucked it okay, up. Okay, <laughs> a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? <laughs> I'm but yet you, Edna, you banned all it kinds of so chemicals, in 1931. <laughs> including so alcohol. Wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Well, what are you going to do? Maybe, but maybe not. What? You can fix this. Your notebook, from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents... Yeah, I'd rather read the nudie yeah, mag. once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, If we accomplish fix this. the timeline, there'll be nudie mags for everyone! <laughs> There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Flux capacitor. That makes time travel possible. Where are we gonna get plutonium? Um, Biff's Biff's <gasps> rotting. Colon. It's the it's the capacitor. Great Scott! It's been with him the whole time. Biff's actually Biff actually produces. He just straight up produces plutonium in his bowels. He's like nibbler. Yeah. <laughs> this this could work. It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world! Ha-ha! Doc? Martin, we must get started at Martin. once. Come on! Can we bring Einie along? The dog. Yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came I lo used to you love don't dogs. Say. <laughs> I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Yeah, we have the old Doc bag. Yay! Let's let Einstein out of the cage. And hopefully he pisses on Biff. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. Oh my god, Biff's moving. What is it, Einie? Biff's behind you! Fly! Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. We have the Better old Biff been back, in a long too. Time, you know? Oh, crap. no. So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? 
Cause all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down. No, I'm the one that showed you the nudie bags and the cigars, guy. I gave you porn and I gave you boobs and booze. <laughs> I gave you boobs, booze, and fucking Ooh, cigars. This, this is full of metal. I hope I don't run out of rock. Poop. Down, Biff. I'd stay. All right, McFly. Oh crap! All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Face. It's face the music. Face the music. <laughs> face the music. You idiot. <laughs> Did you see how he walked all the way up and then he like rewound back? <laughs> <laughs> he decided to show off his moonwalk. He had to go back in time. <laughs> Bite his crotch. I was that was kind of pathetic. Uh. You're just going back and forth between these two spots. I think you have to go like into the corner. Look for something else. Oh, that. Uh, I think I know what to do. Uh. I take a little bit into Hazard's position. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, so you gotta get back into the position you were in before. Try, uh, try pressing that thing. Oh, it's a panic button! There we go! Is that supposed to scare me or something? Hmm. I think you, if you go over to the table and like fold it out and then fold it back in. With him in it, sort of like, uh, sort of like you did with Kid Ten. Yeah. Why does it stay on though? I don't know. Can you go? Can you make your way over there? Ah. Stick him on Biff and then don't panic. Okay. Get him, Miney. What the hell? Einstein? Ah, oh, when we're behind the counter we do it. Oh, okay. You Get have to mine. you have to call him like Koto and Poto. <laughs> Marty McFly's the Beastmaster? Yep. <laughs> Einstein? Ah. You have to do it faster. Ugh, okay, but I don't I'm not very fast. Get a miney! Like clicking. Like now. Like get ready. Now. Einstein? Ah. Oh wait, maybe you have to like throw records and then call Einstein also at the same time. Get him! Alright, I'll slow him down. Yeah. Okay, so. Records? Records? I need stick him! There you go. Whoa! Now panic. Panic! Place your bets. <laughs> what the? <laughs> God damn it! Because <laughs> it's a roulette table. Yep. Let's get out of here, Einy. <laughs> that was a horrible pun. <laughs> Place your bed. <laughs> Sorry, I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. It's Edna. Totally it's gonna be Edna. The old it's, yeah, of course. Martin McFly. In her fucking sit and Edna, spin. it's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short years. Yeah, you years. really Where's screwed the pooch on this one. <laughs> Doc, my husband is in a better place. You. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. Calm down. We've got everything under control. Oh! I, told you, I told you! It's a clockwork orange! No! No! To be continued. <laughs> so? I can't stand that music! <laughs>
<laughs> that's awesome. I'm so glad that the clock they made like so many clockwork orange reviews in it, like well, like references in this. That's fun. In this Back to the Future game of all things, like shit, man. That's cool. <laughs> In the next episode. Here's the real story. Here's the real story. I'm Marty story. McFly from an alternate timeline. And uh, oh why? Oh my god. Because you're <laughs> weak <laughs> why? and you're weak and you're, 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 you're gonna die. It's my muse. <laughs> I'm not sure I like it. does the jigsaw of the game. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Are you gonna fight her with a jetpack at the end of the game? Crazy, and <laughs> Citizen Brown and I are the only it's ones who can not fix it. Unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For us. Jesus Christ. Double visions coming soon. Double visions. Oh my god. That, that was, was fun. episode three of Back to the Future the oh game. Oh god. I've never seen anybody play any of the other ones, nor have I played myself any of them. Like I've been meaning to get to it eventually. But like fuck man, this is it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty fucking awesome. I enjoyed this. I had fun. I love puzzle games. <laughs> Like telltale games like this too. Oh, by the way, um, about yeah. video games and Back to the Future. Yeah. You know the actor who plays Biff Tannen in the movie. Yeah. Ever play Spider-Man: Shattered Dimensions? Yeah. He's Electro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, yes. <laughs> Biff is Electro. <laughs> I think he actually called Spider-Man a butthead at one point. That's perfect. That's so good. Why was Michael J. Fox never uh, Spider-Man? The Michael J. Fox. Foundation, Foundation for, for Parkinson's. Parkinson's research. Don't you think that fucking why wait? Why wasn't Michael J. Fox ever Spider Man? Yeah, because he wouldn't be able to aim his webs properly. I mean, in the eighties, really bad. In, in the eighties, dude. <laughs> I know. I know he was. I have no idea why he, he was. Been Mi cool. He was Milo in the Heart Atlantis Disney's Atlantis movie. Yeah, I know. So. This has been episode three. We'll see you in episode. F oh, I'll we'll see you in episode four. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be here anymore, guys. Obviously, because I pop in and out of these things. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of he just kind of shows up. It's weird. Yeah, this was fun though. I had a good time playing this with you. I wouldn't mind doing another episode. Of and this. I'll see you all in the future later. Peace. You fucked up my entire ending. You fool. In the future. Ciao. <laughs> Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato, and Javay Fenera, providing commentary and whatnot. The art of me was done by Ann Rogers. And the art of myself is done by myself. And we'll see you all in the next video. Ciao!